if the head coach of the Sacramento Kings, Mike Brown, gets robbed for coach of the year. Don't be surprised if Mike Brown gets robbed for coach of the year. Why am I saying that? So I read a post on Facebook that stated, if Mike Brown gets robbed the coach of the year, it would be an absolute insult, right? So I responded by saying, I wouldn't be surprised. And the reason I wouldn't be surprised is because the league, the NBA, Adam Silver, they always seem to do their due diligence that they're protecting LeBron legacy to sell this illusion that LeBron James is doing all these, all these astronomical, all these unbelievable things, accomplishing all these feats that's never been done in NBA history, while all the while scripting these moments. All this is done by design, manufactured. Example, LeBron James coming back from being down 3-1 in the NBA Finals. Now, we all know with a brain who were watching it with our own eyes. And yes, I am making this about LeBron James once again, because he will be at the root of Mike Brown being robbed of MVP. But let me continue. We all know that if you strip the Golden State Warriors of their best defender, their defensive anchor, Draymond Green, who was clearly by far the finals MVP before he was suspended. When LeBron James went and snitched, was on his Takashi 6'9 and ran to Adam Silver in the league and they suspended Draymond Green, they removed Draymond. And you all know that that's going to strip them of their momentum. They had the momentum on their side. See, people don't understand about a momentum shift. Took their confidence, you ripped that away. So they cheated for him to get a championship. Have you ever seen a comment that a lot of the bra sexuals or a lot of, uh, you know, LeBron James fans like to put up and they're joking when they say it, but they say you could be talking about something random and, they, and they'll say, how does this affect LeBron James legacy? It's the same thing with Mike Brown, him coming back down from three one. Nobody's ever did that before. And what he say? He said that right there made me the greatest. In his mind, that made him the greatest. So why did I bring up Mike Brown? Mike Brown coached LeBron James from, I believe, probably 2005, 2004, around that time, if I'm not mistaken, all the way up to 2010. And LeBron James was unable to win with Mike Brown. He didn't win a championship. And they want to sell this illusion that LeBron James has done it without a Hall of Fame coach. He didn't have a great coach like a Phil Jackson. He never had that. He never had a coach that won championships without him. So they want to pretend as if LeBron James didn't have no great coach. So what would it look like if Mike Brown wins coach of the year and has all this success with the Sacramento Kings? Just imagine if Mike Brown went to the finals and won the finals without coaching LeBron James. I'm telling you, that's how dirty they play. The league is corrupt. We all know that. So don't be surprised if Mike Malone, who's the coach of the Denver Nuggets, who's never, never won coach of the year before, watch he all of a sudden wins it. Because they're more than likely going to give the MVP award to Nikola Jokic. They're more than likely going to give Nikola Jokic his third MVP. The Denver Nuggets have the number one seed currently, so they'll be the best team in the league. The Bucks coach has already won coach of the year before. Mike Malone has never won one. Everybody will know it will be a robbery because we've all seen what Mike Brown has done and how he's transformed that Sacramento Kings team to a successful team. We see the phenomenal job that Mike Brown did with turning that Sacramento Kings team to a top tier team, putting them in a position to contend for a title. So we all witnessed it. And then you had LeBron James being fake. The same guy who said, if your brother fall down, let him stay down and your brothers will come pick you up. That's what he said to Kyle Kuzma and what he did to Kyle Kuzma. Traded him. 
traded his own best friend in Dwayne Wade. I think even Dwayne Wade before said LeBron James and even trade Bronny. Even your own friends didn't even bring your own friend Carmelo Anthony back on the team, which I didn't think that he should be back anyway. I think Carmelo Anthony is washed at this point, but that's just my opinion. Once again, my opinion, which isn't illegal yet. But LeBron James is fake. He's phony. So he'll pretend and, and try to be all fake online. But then behind your back, like he did Kobe, was smiling all at Kobe face. You see him, they show little clips of behind the scenes of Team USA. You see LeBron James having fun with Kobe and acting as if he was Kobe on the court. Had his shirt tucked like Kobe, mocking Kobe. Being all fake and phony and acting like he was, you know, best friends with Kobe and like he liked them like that, but was going behind his back and go to Coach K and say, tell that mf -er to stop shooting. Why you couldn't be a man and tell him yourself? But you ain't going to do that because you ain't man enough. But as I said, I don't want to get too far off topic. If Mike Brown gets robbed of coach of the year, we all know the reason why. Because they want to protect LeBron James' legacy. They want to make it seem like he did it without a great another great coach. How is that going to look, Mike Brown, taking that Sacramento Kings team who's, who hasn't been to the playoffs since I don't know how long and turned them into a contending team? How is that going to look? As I said, they're trying to paint this narrative that LeBron James did all these incredible things. All these unbelievable things nobody has ever done throughout history. So they know that LeBron James is trying to surpass Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant in the greatest of all time conversation. So they'll say, oh, well, LeBron James didn't have a Phil Jackson like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant did. He didn't have a coach who was successful without him. So how does that look when Mike Brown was the coach of the 2007 Cavs. You reached the finals. You had Mike Brown. Just think about this. Just think of this storyline and how it would play. This would be the conversation of people who would challenge his greatness and his legacy. They'll say, okay, well, Mike Brown won coach of the year. Mike Brown turned this trash Sacramento Kings team to a, a, formidable, a formidable team. To a contending team. Mike Brown did that. So why you couldn't win with Mike Brown? Think about that. In 2007, you reached the NBA Finals. You got Finals experience. Dwight Howard never had Finals experience before. But you couldn't defeat Dwight Howard to reach the NBA Finals to play Kobe. Which I believe he was ducking Kobe for real, for real. Because on that big stage with the bright lights... They call you the best player in the world going up against Kobe, who wants to prove that you're not the best and that he's the best. Kobe would have smelled blood in the water. He would have loved to go up against LeBron James. So you couldn't get past Dwight Howard and the Orlando Magic when you had finals experience, but you lost. You had Mike Brown, who was coach of the year before, but they ain't going to let him win coach of the year without you. They more than likely not going to allow him to win coach of the year without LeBron James. He could do it with them, but not without him. How would that look? How would that look? They ain't going to do it. <laughs> you had a better record winning 66 games with Mike Brown. You had more help on the 2009 team and 2010 team, but you couldn't reach the finals. You had better talent on that team than you had on the team when you went in 2007. So if you had better talent in 2009, 2010, then why you couldn't reach the finals? So watch LeBron James is more than likely going to be fake just like he went behind Kobe's back end. So you're more than likely going to go to the league, Adam Silver and them, and tell them he's going to fake online, act like he's all for Mike Brown winning coach of the year, and that it will be complete robbery. But going to go behind Mike Brown's back and everybody's back and be fake and go to Adam Silva and say, oh, well, I don't think he should win coach of the year. That's how he does. We all know that LeBron James has a lot of power. Because as I said, <laughs> Mike Malone has never won coach of the year. He was supposed to win in 2019. 
But now is the perfect time. They're setting the stage for it. LeBron coming out saying, if Mike Brown get robbed, that's going to be crazy. And you know what they're going to say? You know what they're going to use? They're going to use race. Watch what I tell you. It's bound to happen. Watch. Watch they use race. They're going to say, Mike Brown got robbed because he was black. That's how they're going to do They're going to use race to stir up the pot. And they're going to say it was because Mike Brown was black and Mike Malone won because he was white. Watch what I tell you. They're going to try to throw that narrative out there when secretly it's all because they don't want Mike Brown to win because it's going to make him look too good. Him taking a trash Kings team to the top of the league when... It was all but over for him when LeBron James left, and that's how they wanted to be. He couldn't succeed without LeBron. Watch what I tell you.